Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we'd like to talk about the medicinal mushroom, Cordyceps sinensis. Cordyceps is famous for providing energy, but it does so much more. It also helps to improve the immune response. It helps to protect the organs from damage and on and on. We want to talk about that. You want to watch this program. Cordyceps is one of my favorite supplements. That's our concept for today. First, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Common household practices may be increasing your risk of food poisoning. Researchers from the University of Mauritius evaluated 100 families' kitchens for evidence of bacterial contamination that could lead to food poisoning. They considered multiple parameters, including whether the families used disposable towels or reusable towels, family size, and type of diet consumed. They also cultured the reusable towels for evidence of pathogenic bacteria. They found moist reusable towels were much more likely to harbor bacteria known to cause food poisoning. The study was presented at the annual meeting of the American Society for Microbiology. Well, folks, this study provides critical information that could spare you and your family misery from food poisoning or what health experts call foodborne illness. Every year, some 50 million Americans develop diseases from contaminated foods and at least 150,000 are hospitalized and some 4,000 die. This study found several factors that predicted the risk of a family contracting foodborne illness. They are larger family size, diets that include large amounts of meat, and the presence of cloth towels that are used over and over and left sitting moist to incubate the growth of bacteria. All of these factors lead to an increased risk of food poisoning. It is disconcerting to find if a cloth towel is used repetitively in the kitchen and it is left moist, there is a 50% chance that that towel is growing E. coli, Enterococcus, or Staph aureus, among others, and all of these germs are known to be capable of making humans very sick from foodborne illness. I understand that using paper towels cost more, but their use is much, more, much less likely to lead to foodborne illness. And if you choose to use cloth towels in the kitchen, please wash them after every meal prep. Genetics is not the only factor that determines a child's IQ. Researchers from Rutgers University conducted a review of the available science on the nature of intelligence. They found it is the genetic environmental interplay that is the ringmaster in determining intelligence. This means the home environment, nutrition and exercise habits along with the way we educate children all play a role in how smart the child will become. The study also found a child's intelligence is most malleable in the years before they attend first grade. The study was published by Psychological Bulletin. Related research from the University of Pennsylvania published by Scientific Reports finds if a preschooler eats fish at least once a week, they sleep better and their IQ is four points higher than non-fish eating kids. Well, isn't this amazing? For generations, most have assumed a child is born with fixed level of intelligence and there's really nothing parents can do to help make their child smarter. Now, this study and the experience of thousands of involved parents, dedicated teachers, and those who care for children confirm that a child's intelligence and hence their ability to deal with the challenges of life and to succeed is malleable. Now, to be sure, genetics is the primary determinant of human intelligence. In fact, this study found on a scale of zero to one, with one being a trait completely dependent on genetics, the color of your eyes scores at a point nine nine, for example, but intelligence is a point eight. So 20% of your IQ depends on early nurturing, exposure to challenging concepts, high quality nutrition, including abundant vitamins and fish oil, as we learned, exercise patterns, the methods and timing of early education, all of these things matter greatly. So from this knowledge, it is possible that a child that inherits an average IQ of 100, in theory, with the proper upbringing, with all it entails, could actually approach adulthood with an IQ of 120 which is much smarter than average. This opens the door for higher education, a better paying job, and even better health and longevity. And that's simply amazing, isn't it? Well, today on Your Health, we'd like to discuss another amazing thing, Cordyceps sinensis, the remarkable medicinal mushroom that improves immunity and promotes energy. 
Stay tuned to learn more. You may have heard about Cordyceps sinensis, the medicinal mushroom that supports metabolic processes for stimulant-free energy. Cordyceps sinensis also nutritionally supports the immune and respiratory systems, as well as the heart and the lungs. Bio Innovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Cordyceps Sinensis. And today, when you buy one bottle of Cordyceps Sinensis at the regular price, you'll receive a second bottle free. That's right, buy one and get one free. Cordyceps Sinensis is among the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available, making it your choice for stimulant free natural energy. That's special once again. Today only, when you buy one bottle of Cordyceps at the regular price, you'll receive a second one free. So give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net. Be sure to ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker and this is your health at a glance. If you have an irresistible urge to move when you're falling asleep, you may have restless leg syndrome. This is a puzzling but common condition. It causes you to feel odd sensations relieved only by moving your legs. You wake up often and usually suffer from insomnia. Different medical conditions cause restless leg syndrome such as iron deficiency, magnesium deficiency, varicose veins, pregnancy, fibromyalgia, peripheral neuropathy, Parkinson's disease, or a side effect of taking antidepressants or antihistamines. Supplementing your diet with vitamin C, E, D, and magnesium may be helpful. If you are iron deficient, take iron only if a doctor tells you to do so. If you can correct the underlying cause, you can quiet your legs and sleep through the night. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. For centuries, the herb astragalus has been a staple of traditional Chinese medicine. It's used to create a strong shield, protecting the immune system. Astragalus is also used to support healthy heart and lung function. There's even more. Astragalus helps to calm total body inflammation, a common cause of pain and chronic illness. All of that without the use of medication. That's right. Support your health the way nature intended with astragalus root. Innovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Astragalus Root Extract. Bioinnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net and see what astragalus can do for your health. That number once again is 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Call today. Welcome back, everyone. It's such a blessing to be with you today. Today's show gets to be an interesting show. We get to talk about one of my favorite subjects. That is the medicinal mushroom called cordyceps. This was first discovered in Tibet. has a great story. And you know what? It really, really works. It really, really, really does boost that energy. I got to tell you, I don't ever go to a horse show without it. So, Richard, cordyceps. Yes. You know, the medicinal mushrooms, we all know we can't just walk through a forest and pick up any mushroom and eat it because some of them are toxic and dangerous. There are estimated some 700 different types of mushrooms that are currently being used as food. 700 out of thousands and thousands worldwide are used as food. And about 35 of these have medicinal properties and are currently used as a medicinal food. The fundamental active agent in medicinal mushrooms are beta-glucan and other beta-glucan-like molecules. What do I mean by that? Beta-glucan is, imagine a long string of glucose or saccharide-type molecules, glucose, uh, mannitol, galactose, the, there's quite a variety of these, and they're arranged in unique ways. And they can be quite long, thousands of units. And it is interesting to note that this long chain resembles the cell wall of a bacteria or the cell membrane of a fungi, and it initiates an immune response. 
That's the basic concept behind a beta-glucan. But medicinal mushrooms are complex organisms with a wide variety of chemical constituents, and many of them unique, not found anywhere else in the world, and they all play a role in the medicinal qualities of medicinal mushrooms. And Cordyceps sinensis is no exception. Cordyceps sinensis is used traditionally in the Tibetan region of the world to restore energy and it's used for a variety of serious illnesses as a supportive measure for serious illnesses and as a treatment for their 21 fundamental diseases. We'll have more on that in a minute. The Eastern philosophy uses medicinal mushrooms to balance the system and improve the life force energy. Life force energy. Cordyceps mushroom, there's some 680 different type of cordyceps fungi. The majority of these feed on insects. They infect an insect like a larvae and out from that mycelia growth buds the uh, fruiting body, what we call the fruit or the mushroom of the organism. Cordyceps sinensis is the scientific name for this remarkable organism. Cord means club, seps means head, and sinensis means Chinese. So basically what cordyceps sinensis means is Chinese mushroom that is club-headed, club-headed mushroom. The Tibetan word is yartse bagumbu, yartse magumbu, and what this means is worm in the winter, grass in the summer, because the mushroom fruiting body comes out of this worm and that is what has traditionally been collected. Now, we don't eat the, mush, the, the, the worm anymore. That's not part of it. We'll get to that. But this is the original. It blooms out of the mushroom, blooms out the fruiting body or the mushroom, as we call it. It comes out of the caterpillar. The caterpillar contains the mycelia or the root system. Does that make sense? And that's what is consumed traditionally. Now, there is a new designation for cordyceps sinensis. They've renamed it Ophiocordyceps sinensis. And the Ophidian is Greek word for snake because it's a kind of a worm-like structure. You know, nobody asked us if we wanted to change. Did they, anybody ask you if we wanted to? Uh, Ophiocordyceps sinensis, that's fine. And they do that in scientific writings. And if you want to learn more about cordyceps, you will see that name used frequently. But it's long, it's, it's laborious. We're just gonna call it cordyceps. That works for us. Cordyceps is a very unique mushroom. In its natural state, it grows only at high elevation. Only will it grow from 10,000 to 16,000 feet high in the Himalayan mountains. That's where it was originally found. The mycelia grows in the caterpillar. The fruiting body emerges like a blade of grass, hence all the talk about the uh, of, of cordyceps. The Tibetan yak herders observed their yaks eating this mushroom at high elevation, and they observed that the yaks became energetic and it initiated the rut. And they thought, you know, maybe it would help with our energy. We work up here at this high altitude. We need more energy, too. And that's the traditional story of how the use of cordyceps got started. Once the Chinese emperors, you know, Tibet has been in contested territory for many generations now. The Chinese emperors found the remarkable cordyceps properties. They restricted it only to the palaces, the cordyceps only could be used by royalty, and stiff penalties occurred if a commoner like you or I were found in possession of cordyceps. This led to, as over time, this reputation led to widespread use, and at one time, 100 tons of cordyceps was harvested throughout the Himalayas, but it became so popular now, it is actually an endangered species in China. They've labeled it Cordyceps is an endangered species in China, and the natural harvest is down to some 10 tons a year. This has led to counterfeits. Oh yeah, it's cordyceps. It's cordyceps because one kilogram, 2.2 pounds of cordyceps can earn you anywhere from 20 to $110,000. That would equal anywhere from 10 to $55 a pill. And of course, if you're paying that kind of money for a medicinal agent like a mushroom, you're going to get counterfeits. Sure, it's 
it's, it's cordyceps. You can imagine how that would happen. So the modern production of cordyceps does not rely on the worm. It does not rely on uh, high elevation. And what this has created is the mycelia, the root system of the cordyceps is now the medicinal agent. And the scientists have been able to prove the characteristics, the properties of the original cordyceps growing from the caterpillar is virtually the same. There are some subtle differences, but they're minor as the mycelia that can be grown at seed level in a cold, dark environment. So we've been able to match the properties at a very reasonable price and come as close as possible. And this is much better because we're not endangering the species, we're not dependent on foreign trade, and we're not susceptible to counterfeits. And so it's better all the way around to do it the way we're doing. Dr. Halperin, MD, PhD, one of the world's recognized authorities in mushroom therapies, states cordyceps is one of the safest medicinal foods we have. The putative use. Now this is the 21 traditional fundamental diseases of the Tibetan healer. They recognize essentially 21 different diseases and they use cordyceps as a foundational agent to treat these conditions. And I just want to name you these. This is the putative or traditional reputation use of cordyceps. Longevity, libido in both men and women, infertility, generalized weakness. It was used as an antibiotic for tuberculosis, bronchitis, cancer, cough and colds, rheumatism, arthritis, jaundice, be like uh, hepatitis B, this type of thing, infectious hepatitis, prostate enlargement, liver and kidney disease, angina, heart disease, chronic pain, backache, sciatica, dizziness, low blood pressure, diabetes, alcoholic hepatitis, and as a general assistant to other serious diseases. They essentially used it for all the diseases they recognized. They found it so useful. Our current modern research summary concludes there are over 50 bioactive ingredients in cordyceps sinensis. And some of these have never been found in any other living organism. Rare and unique. Well, imagine it only grows from 10 to 16,000 feet elevation. There's not a lot growing up in those Rocky Mountains. There's not a lot growing at all. And to see this thing sprout up and the animals selectively seek that out and consume it, that would get anybody's attention. 50 different unique ingredients, 10 different saccharides resulting in a wide variety of alpha and beta glucans that stimulate the immune system and modulate various physiologic processes. But there's more, nucleosides. These are little pieces of DNA-like material. Adenosine, cordycepin, steroids, ergosteroids, 18 different amino acids, peptides, proteins, enzymes, and gamma aminobutyric acid, and others. Wide variety of ingredients, generally well tolerated. Side, profile, uh, side effect profile is virtually nil. And when we return, let's talk about the varied uses. We'll be back. You may have heard about Cordyceps sinensis, the medicinal mushroom that supports metabolic processes for stimulant-free energy. Cordyceps sinensis also nutritionally supports the immune and respiratory systems, as well as the heart and the lungs. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Cordyceps sinensis. And today, when you buy one bottle of Cordyceps sinensis at the regular price, you'll receive a second bottle free. That's right, buy one and get one free. Cordyceps sinensis is among the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available, making it your choice for stimulant-free natural energy. That's special once again. Today only, when you buy one bottle of Cordyceps at the regular price, you'll receive a second one free. So give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net. Be sure to ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Does acid reflux keep you hooked on antacids? If so, you may be suffering from GERD, which stands for Gastroesophageal Reflux Disease.
GERD affects at least 20% of the adult population. In fact, Americans spend hundreds of millions of dollars per year on medicines to treat GERD. This is unfortunate because these medications have side effects. They can cause additional digestive problems, and they lead to nutrient deficiencies, such as the depletion of vitamin B12. Fortunately, there are simple lifestyle changes that can reduce the symptoms of GERD. Avoid lying down or exercising within two hours of eating. Lose weight because obesity worsens symptoms. Limit foods that cause GERD, such as fried, fatty foods, mints, chocolate, and caffeine. To improve digestion, eat a diet rich in fiber, yogurt, and drink lots of water. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number's 888-442-2128. We're back, everyone, having a great discussion on cordyceps. Richard, this is really interesting. I love yes. the story behind cordyceps. It is amazing, you know? isn't it? It is. Uh, we were talking about the properties of cordyceps sinensis. We talked about the putative use, the reputation, the research summary. And if we go through the, the vast bank of scientific writings on cordyceps sinensis, our summary would find cordyceps has modulates physiologic processes, meaning it's an adaptogen. It helps our body to respond to various needs. It acts as a natural antibiotic, antifungal, antiviral, and it can be quite effective as an antibiotic. It is an analgesic, an anti-atherosclerosis, you know, uh, the plaques that develop in the arteries, it helps with that. Anti-inflammatory, anti-aging, and antidepressant, especially a unique setting here, a niche, for the diabetic who is suffering with depression. It's very effective for that, keep that in mind. Anti-osteoporosis, photoprotection, it is a natural antioxidant, a natural sunscreen, even when you take it internally. It helps to protect the skin, it's quite amazing. It helps to protect from organ injury. It um, is an antioxidant, improvement of endurance, which is quite remarkable research. Learning and memory improvement, immune modulation, in other words, it can bring up the immune system. If it's underactive, bring it down if it's hyperactive. Anti-diabetes improves measures of diabetes control, liver and kidney protection, and tumor inhibition. That's the summary. Let's do some specifics on cordyceps and cancers. Now, multiple studies now have identified cordyceps chemical makeup that makes it such a good anti-cancer medicinal food. The nucleosides. These are little pieces of DNA-like material. And what this does is this gets involved in the cell signaling mechanisms. You know, our DNA codes for proteins, which is the essence of life, really. And these little segments of nucleosides can correct malfunctioning DNA works, the downflow. It's really quite remarkable how this works. Beta-glucans, cyclopeptides, peptides, proteins, and amino acids. This is the essence of enzymes and the protein nature of our molecular structures and our, how our body communicates. Alpha and beta glucans, we discussed that. Cordycepin, cordamin, and cordoglucan. Some of these are unique to the organism. It can't be found anywhere. At least we don't know that it's found anywhere. It's never been found anywhere else, so it probably is. And it can, helps us to fight cancer by immune modulation direct cytotoxic effect on the cancer cells and 
growth inhibition and hormone modulation. I'm thinking of like breast cancer that has a hormone drive to it, prostate cancer that has a hormone drive to it. Cordyceps is useful in that setting. Adenosine and cordycepin resembles pieces of DNA and RNA and the adenosine inhibits cancer cell replication. Cordycepin at low dose inhibits cancer cell growth and the division of tumor cells. At high doses, it inhibits tumor cell adhesion. In other words, a tumor has to adhesion, adhere to cells to make way in and grow. And this mechanism has been well studied and it inhibits that adhesion so it can't, can't form a root as it were as it were, and this is helpful. It also helps us to fight cancer, cordyceps, by its antioxidant content, protects organs from chemotherapy side effects. This is a big, huge limiting factor in our cancer therapies today. The, it's how much of it can you take? How much chemo can you take? If you can take enough of it, we could uh, cure more cancers. But the bone marrow suppressed, the toxicity, you feel terrible, you know, you develop immune deficits, infections, all these side effects from chemotherapy. If we're taking cordyceps, you have fewer side effects, and that is a true advantage in cancer therapy. The alpha and beta glucans modulate macrophages and lymphocytes, help to keep your immune system up in cancer. It's been studied in fibrosarcoma, lung cancer, melanoma, colon and breast cancer, and many others. We have studies in vitro, in vivo, and human. Test tube, living uh, animals and in human studies. The vast majority of our studies on cordyceps sinensis comes from China, but not all, not all. What about immunity? One more. Here's, it give you an idea of how it can be helpful in cancer therapy. Hepatocellular carcinoma. This is primary liver cancer, not cancer that's metastasized to the liver, but cancer that arises from the liver. It's very difficult to treat. It has a high fatality rate. 101 hepatocellular carcinoma patients. They evaluated 12 different natural agents that could maybe help these patients. Cordyceps was one of them. They found cordyceps sinensis was the most effective in hepatocellular carcinoma. These patients lived longer if they included cordyceps in their regimen. In fact, if they took cordyceps, on average, they lived 40 months. If they did not take cordyceps, they only lived seven months. That's a remarkable difference. If you incorporate this into a complete natural supportive plan, along with whatever your doctors can do, you're gonna improve your quality of life and you're much more likely to live longer. To think of this as a cure for her hepatocellular carcinoma, that's not realistic. But you never know, miracles can happen. We do our part, do your best, God does the rest. That's my motto, we do our best and cordyceps can be a part of your cancer treatment plan. Let's talk about immunity. Cordyceps modulates the immune system via a variety of alpha and beta glucans, cordyceps and cordamin, these nucleoside analogs, these things that resemble DNA and RNA, and other molecules, some of them unique to cordyceps. Modulates the lymphoproliferative response. What do I mean by that? Let's say we're exposed to influenza. We want our immune system to proliferate quickly and adapt to this infectious agent and get rid of it ideally before we even feel any evidence of sickness. I don't even know I had the flu. My immune system responded so quickly, gun, gone. Or maybe we're through with it within a week as opposed to three weeks, which ends in pneumonia and a hospitalization. So it modulates the lymphoproliferative response. It increases your macrophages, which is your little Pac-Man that gobble up the bad guys, and the lymphocytes, which make antibodies and help us to fight viruses and cancer and fungi, while it decreases the inflammatory response. We don't want to get too inflamed, just enough inflammation to initiate the critical immune response, but not so much inflammation that we hurt all over and we're miserable because that's not helping. That's not helping. So it modulates that inflammatory response. It helps to modulate the inflammatory cytokines, TNF-alpha. It increases anti-inflammatory cytokines. It modulates nuclear factor kappa beta, thereby reducing cancer genesis, pain, inflammation, along with autoimmunity. In an acute infection, we want that inflammation to come up because it triggers the, uh, the quick 
prompt immune response. But what about autoimmune disease? What about intestinal dysbiosis? What about arthritis and these various conditions and diabetes where we're chronically inflamed and you're miserable day after day with pain and inflammation? That needs to calm down. But you know what? Taking the anti-inflammatories, there's so many side effects that long-term use of the anti-inflammatories, it's just prohibitive. If you're relying on ibuprofen every day for months on end to control your pain, you're asking for trouble. That's just the truth. It's just the truth. Try to find other ways to naturally calm that inflammation without the side effects. I promise you it can be done. I've seen it done thousands of times. It really does work and cordyceps is part of that. Do you have anything that you can do for Hashimoto's or Graves disease? There's so many people in this country with thyroid conditions and they have no idea what they can do about it. Cordyceps is one of the best options we have and I want to highlight cordyceps and thyroid disease when we return. You may have heard about Cordyceps sinensis, the medicinal mushroom that supports metabolic processes for stimulant-free energy. Cordyceps sinensis also nutritionally supports the immune and respiratory systems, as well as the heart and the lungs. Bio Innovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Cordyceps sinensis. And today, when you buy one bottle of Cordyceps sinensis at the regular price, you'll receive a second bottle free. That's right, buy one and get one free. Cordyceps sinensis is among the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available, making it your choice for stimulant-free natural energy. That's special once again. Today only, when you buy one bottle of Cordyceps at the regular price, you'll receive a second one free. So give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net. Be sure to ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for your health at a glance. Are you looking for a way to lower your risk of Alzheimer's? As the prevalence of obesity and metabolic syndrome continue to increase, researchers have found a possible link between type 2 diabetes and the onset of Alzheimer's disease. In fact, type 2 diabetics are at 200% higher risk of Alzheimer's compared to people without diabetes. These metabolic changes that develop with diabetes appears to greatly increase the speed of deterioration of the brain and other related systems. Lowering your blood glucose is easier than you may think. Eat smaller meals, exercise regularly, and reduce carbohydrates in your diet, especially simple sugars. Taking steps today to control your blood glucose may protect your entire body, including your brain. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acids so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics, so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. We're back, everyone, learning all about cordyceps and just how amazing it is for optimal health. Well, to help you get the cordyceps you need, we have a great special today. We have the Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Cordyceps Sinensis. Buy one, get one free. Buy one bottle at the regular price. You'll get a second bottle free.
So Richard. Yes. Thinking about the people who suffer from various thyroid conditions, there's yeah. not really all that much in the natural world right. to help the people who right. suffer from thyroid, but cordyceps is different. Yes, so much of our thyroid disease is driven by the autoimmune phenomena. And two examples are Hashimoto's thyroiditis and Graves' disease. Hashimoto's tends to end in hypothyroidism due to antibody-induced destruction of the gland. And Graves' disease uh, leads to hyperthyroidism. And eventually, as the gland burns out, the thyroid gland burns out, as it were, it ends in low thyroid as well. But you may go through a period of extreme hyperthyroidism. It's a real problem. And people take medicine. And you may have to take medicines. I'm not anti-medicines, but it's not complete. It's not enough for so many. So here's a study. 100 patients with either Hashimoto's thyroiditis or Graves' disease disease, two of our most common causes of thyroid disease in this country. They were all given standard treatment, meaning L-thyroxin, which is T4 therapy for the Hashimoto's because it ends quickly in low thyroid, or methamazole, which is an anti-hyperthyroid medicine for the Graves' disease because they go high. So we have to counter that. But half of these patients were given cordyceps sinensis with their standard treatment. So it's a complementary treatment. What they found, if the patients that took the cordyceps, it lowered their antibody levels. Remember, this is autoimmune thyroid disease, both of them, and the antibodies drives this destruction of the gland, which is the core problem. So it helps to lower the antibody level while correcting T helper cell cytotoxic T cell ratio. This is the immunology of uh, autoimmune thyroid disease. Help to correct that phenomena. I can't think of anything in the natural world or otherwise that is capable of doing that. Now, there may be, but um, I've been studying this a long time. This is rare and unique properties. To the cordyceps, maybe a little ashwagandha. We add a little of that and create a, uh, a beta-glucan plan with that and probiotics, vitamin D, you know, create a complete holistic approach to your thyroid disease, you're going to do better. It always takes time with thyroid conditions. There's no quick fixes with thyroid, so be patient, it will help. Now let's move on. Cordyceps, cardiovascular, brain and nervous system. Cordyceps displays vascular and neuroprotection. Inhibits inflammation and platelet adhesion, so your blood doesn't isn't as prone to clotting, it increases antioxidant capacity of the blood, it's useful in stroke treatment and prevention and management of all cardiovascular disease. Corceps is a natural cholesterol lowering agent. Three grams a day provides a 21% reduction in cholesterol levels. Plus you get all the other benefits. Three grams a day, that's a very manageable dose. Arrhythmias, this is special. Pay attention if you have a cardiac arrhythmia. Cordyceps has rare and unique antiarrhythmia properties. Subjects with ventricular arrhythmias, this is an arrhythmia rising out of the ventricles, 1,500 milligrams of cordyceps a day, 80% of these patients improve their arrhythmias. The EKGs improved in 80% of them. 83% with supraventricular arrhythmias, taking three grams a day for three months, showed partial or complete. The vast majority showed improvement and some completely recovered from their supraventricular arrhythmias. And you remember we mentioned adenosine, one of the components of cordyceps. That's actually, a, at the synthesized version, is an approved drug for ventricular arrhythmias. Excuse me? It's for supraventricular arrhythmias. It's a, you may get that from your cardiologist. Now, that's just adenosine. It's not cordyceps, but cordyceps has that in there. So that's only part of how it helps with arrhythmias, but it does. It helps with the arrhythmias. More than half of those tested with arrhythmias, they found their arrhythmias disappeared in less than three weeks, just from cordyceps sinensis. How many people? There's so many. You know, the atrial fibrillation, uh, it's just, it, it, there's so many people with arrhythmias. I, I wanted to focus on that for a little while. In China, stroke is more common than heart attack. It's kind of flipped. We have just the opposite. We have more heart attacks than stroke. So they've done a lot of research on cordyceps as a treatment for stroke. 
They have found cordyceps decreases stroke inflammation of the brain. It's the inflammation that kills the brain cells. It reduces the size and damage while increasing survivability. And this has been determined through animal studies and through human studies in China. Remember, in China, they've been studying cordyceps for hundreds of years. Chinese scientific literature reveals extensive studies on arrhythmias, heart benefits, and brain benefits. Powerful antioxidant cordyceps influences at least nine different native pathways that help our bodies deal with free radicals and toxicity. Nine proven, there may be more, but we know at least nine. How about diabetes? This is remarkable. Cordyceps varied actions improves diabetes, lowers glucose, improves insulin resistance, it lowers cholesterol and triglyceride levels, counters the free radicals which are doing the damage of diabetes, it improves energy flow in nerves, liver, and the immunity of the diabetic patient. Animal studies have confirmed this, they do all sorts of studies to prove this, and it's been confirmed in human studies. 19 of 20 type 2 diabetics who took cordyceps, there's an example of a human study, improved glycemic control within 30 days. And 8 of the 19 no longer had protein in their urine. Diabetics, kidney damage, protein in the urine. Your doctor checks that protein every time he checks you out for your diabetes. How would you like to go in next time and say, there's no more protein in your. What are you doing differently? That can happen for you when you embrace holism and try another way. And you can use it with your medicine. So let's go to our break. And when we come back, this is the fun part of cordyceps. Energy. Would you like more energy? That's what made cordyceps famous. And we want to tell you all about it when we return. You may have heard about Cordyceps sinensis, the medicinal mushroom that supports metabolic processes for stimulant-free energy. Cordyceps sinensis also nutritionally supports the immune and respiratory systems, as well as the heart and the lungs. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Cordyceps sinensis. And today, when you buy one bottle of Cordyceps sinensis at the regular price, you'll receive a second bottle free. That's right, buy one and get one free. Cordyceps sinensis is among the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available, making it your choice for stimulant-free natural energy. That's special once again. Today only, when you buy one bottle of Cordyceps at the regular price, you'll receive a second one free. So give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net. Be sure to ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. our hope for you today. I'm Cindy Becker. Do you feel that you'll never really be joyful and happy in your life? The Reverend Billy Graham wrote about these two emotions, joy and happiness. Dr. Graham says, joy is not the same as happiness, although they may overlap. Happiness depends on circumstances. Joy depends on God. In Psalm 30, David, whose life seemed an endless battle, experienced joy despite his problems as king of Israel. David wrote, you turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy, that my heart may sing to you and not be silent. If you are struggling to find joy in your life, pray to God, count your blessings. Joy depends on God. I'm Cindy Becker. This is our hope for you today. Vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States. Chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. 
Innovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. We're back, everyone. Just a quick reminder on that great special we have today on the cordyceps. Buy one bottle at the regular price. You're going to get a second bottle free, so don't miss this one. You're going to want that cordyceps when you learn what it does to help your energy. So, Richard. Yes. Energy. That's energy. what put cordyceps on the map. It really did. It's what made cordyceps famous. Cordyceps improves energy transfer and signal transduction in our cells. Multiple studies now have shown cordyceps administration can improve the ATP production by your liver by up to 50%. ATP is to our cells energy process what the dollar is to the world's economy. It's how we exchange money. It's ATP is how we exchange energy in our bodies. Our foods are converted to ATP. That's used by the cells. And you can increase your ATP production by 50%, up to 50%. And this is going to help with your mentation, your thinking process, your heart, your lungs, every, your immune system. Everything requires this aerobic produced energy and you can increase that. Fatigue, 30 healthy seniors add a little cordyceps, it improved their oxygen utilization a significant amount. Exercise tolerance, 20 healthy elderly adults, double blind placebo controlled, nobody knew who was taking what. After 12 weeks of just one gram, and that's too low a dose, you're gonna need a little more than a gram, it improved exercise tolerance and performance by 10%. That may be enough and especially if you took two to three grams, a more effective dose, to be able to, to clean your home a little better, maybe go out, go to church on Sunday or, or Saturday, whatever day you worship on, to uh, go to the grocery store and shop the aisles like you used to do in the past. You don't know till you try it, but you can improve your energy. Endurance in healthy sedentary seniors. 12 weeks of three grams cordyceps extract. Cordymax was the brand they were testing but it's cordyceps, improved aerobic capacity, physical strength, improved endurance, endurance performance, exercise metabolism, and the seniors lost a little weight. It wasn't a lot, but it was enough to make a significant difference. Cordyceps enhances normal fat metabolism. It releases the energy of fat more effectively, and perhaps the most remarkable of all these is 30 to 70% improved endurance. Even in elite young athletes, it improved their endurance. So there's something special going on with cordyceps and energy flow to the various organs. But there's more. This is important. Are you in chronic renal disease, chronic kidney failure, or on dialysis? I don't have time to tell you everything, but I want to get the essence across. If you're in chronic kidney disease, your BUN and creatinine will improve when you take cordyceps. This has been shown in multiple studies. If you have received a transplanted kidney, and you're on cyclosporin, the drug used to inhibit the rejection. So you keep that kidney longer. Well, guess what? Even though that drug inhibits your immune rejection of the organ, it's damaging to your new kidney or to the lung or to the heart, whatever organ you're getting. They've been able to prove that if you take cordyceps, you have less damage to the kidney and you're more likely to keep that kidney and your BUN will improve, your creatinine will improve, and your antioxidant levels in the kidney will improve. All of that for kidney disease. So diabetics, pay attention. End stage hypertensive who have kidney damage. Whatever reason you have kidney troubles, cordyceps is something to look at. It is creating a great stir in the world of nephrology. Dr. Rich Schneider, nephrologist, has been on this program multiple times. He practices nephrology. He's written extensively, and he loves cordyceps. Now, if you have a kidney, a transplanted kidney, you have to work closely with your doc doctor. I'm not telling you to do opposite of what do your doctor says, but look into it. Broach the subject with your doctor. We have 
I, I, I've never met anybody who's had any side effects, problems, even allergic reactions to cordyceps. Think about it. Respiratory, chronic bronchitis. You know the emphysema version, chronic bronchitis. Get this. Uh, average person in the study had, had bronchitis, this chronic bronchitis for 12, this is a productive, miserable cough every day for 12 years, or most days. 90% found relief with 40% improved lung function testing. Less coughing, less wheezing. Asthma, patients who failed to respond to standard medical treatments, three grams of cordyceps for 10 days, 81% of them improved in their pulmonary function testing. Four out of five improved with the simple addition of cordyceps. If that's not, is it the energy transfer to the lung? The reparative mechanisms, the immune system works better? Well, we're not sure, but it's helping without side effects. Moderate to severe asthma, 120 patients. Usual treatment plus, which means steroid inhaler plus a rescue drug, half took the cordyceps sinensis. Improved quality of life in those who took cordyceps and improved lung function scores, and they did lab tests to support that conclusion. Let's summarize it. Cordyceps shows anti-tumor activity, anti-metastatic activity, immune modulatory activity. It is a strong antioxidant, particularly in the lungs and the kidneys. Very helpful there. Anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, antifungal, hypolipidant, lowers your cholesterol, improves your measures of glycemic control for the diabetic, your sugars get better and your, your cholesterol gets better. It's a natural anti-aging uh, agent. It protects the brain. Remember the Chinese, more strokes than heart attacks. They know a lot about this. They love cordyceps for brain protection. It improves the kidneys. It improves the BUN creatinine and kidney failure. That's amazing protects the liver, helps you to detox more efficiently, and it, it improves your endurance. You know, that, that's too good to be true. It, it, it just sounds too good to be true. But this stuff has been used for hundreds of years with like results. We have a wrap up when we return. You may have heard about Cordyceps sinensis, the medicinal mushroom that supports metabolic processes for stimulant-free energy. Cordyceps sinensis also nutritionally supports the immune and respiratory systems, as well as the heart and the lungs. Bio Innovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Cordyceps Sinensis. And today, when you buy one bottle of Cordyceps Sinensis at the regular price, you'll receive a second bottle free. That's right, buy one and get one free. Cordyceps Sinensis is among the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available, making it your choice for stimulant-free natural energy. That's special once again. Today only, when you buy one bottle of Cordyceps at the regular price, you'll receive a second one free. So give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net. Be sure to ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker and this is Your Health at a Glance. Could some of your favorite foods be making you sick? Cases of non-allergic food intolerance are on the rise. This is different than food allergies. Recent surveys reveal up to 20% of us may be suffering from food intolerance. People who have a higher risk of non-allergic food sensitivity are those with other types of allergies such as hay fever or irritable bowel syndrome, hepatitis C, chronic indigestion, abdominal pain or constipation. Non-allergic food intolerance can be delayed up to 48 hours or longer, so you may not connect something you ate two days ago with fatigue, headaches, abdominal pain, or depression. You can keep a food diary and write down everything you eat, blood tests can diagnose the problem, or an elimination diet can help you detect the foods that are causing your symptoms. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. For thousands of years, Eastern health practitioners have used mushrooms for a variety of treatments. And recently, scientists everywhere in the world have turned to mushrooms in search of health-promoting compounds. These are known as medicinal mushrooms. Among some of the most potent are ABM, 
Mayataki, Rishi, Shiitake, and Cordyceps sinensis. And BioInnovations, we've made available four of the most powerful mushrooms in one easy-to-use formula. We call it the Mushroom Complex. We also offer the amazing mushroom Cordyceps sinensis in a standalone formula. Cordyceps helps boost energy, an amazing discovery now used in both Eastern and Western medicine. So take advantage of thousands of years of health knowledge. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Your health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back, everyone. Hasn't this just been amazing to learn about the cordyceps mushrooms? Well, to help you get it, I want to give you one quick reminder. We have the Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Cordyceps. Buy one, get one free. That is today only, so don't miss it. You buy one bottle at the regular price, you'll get a second bottle free. So, Richard, I know there's a little bit more you'd like to cover. Well, I'm often asked, there's a downside to everything, right? What's the downside to Cordyceps sinensis? Well, mushrooms are complex living beings containing a wide variety of uh, biological molecules, that, and some of them are unique and quite active. So it is possible that allergic reaction could happen. But I have not seen any reports of allergic reactions, but, but it's possible it could happen. Uh, I've also, if you search the um, scientific websites like Google Scholar, this type of thing for toxicity and reactions, there are a couple cases where cordyceps was being used and there was a problem, but it's not proof that cordyceps caused it. And when you consider the toxicology studies that, that show there's no... Uh, no mutagenesis, there, there's no evidence of toxicity to the liver, no evidence that it causes cancer, or any of these things, it's doubtful. I've just, full disclosure, I want you to know, and we've had thousands of our viewers and customers taking cordyceps for a very long time, and we have not heard of any of these negative effects. Now, if you are on a blood thinner, warfarin, heparin, or some of the new anticoagulants, you should always talk to your doctor about taking any natural agent. You don't want to negate the effect of this medicine, these medicines, or enhance the effect. You can use cordyceps sinensis with warfarin if you're willing to check your blood bleeding times and adjust your doses. If you're not willing to do the blood tests and adjust doses, don't take cordyceps sinensis. That would be irresponsible of me to recommend it, and it would be irresponsible of you to do that without your doctor's corporation. So this is the misnomer with the warfarin. You should eat healthy. You should have salads. You should have fish. You should do all these things, but you need to do it consistent and steadily and do your blood work so you know where your bleeding times are. It's not that complicated if you follow the rules. Side effects are rare with cordyceps sinensis. And it, the side effect is usually related to its desired effect. So you're a, a diabetic and you start to take cordyceps and you notice your blood sugar drops. This means what? You need less medicine, not less cordyceps. Cordyceps give you far more benefits overall with the immune system and all the other benefits. So the side effects are usually what we're trying to create. That's an important understanding. That's an important understanding. Dosage is anywhere from three to nine grams a day. It is exceedingly safe. 500 milligram capsules. Take, start out with two capsules three times a day. You can reduce, you can increase. How long should you take cordyceps sinensis? As long as you feel it's helping you. I have not seen any reports of someone taking cordyceps for three years, four years, five years, and it turns against them, inhibiting their immune system. It's not there. I'm not seeing that. It's not happening. As long as cordyceps is helping you, you may take it. So I hope that helps you understand cordyceps sinensis much better. Thank you for your kind attention. We'll see you tomorrow, folks, right here. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. In the pit of my stomach, I knew, I knew it was going to be positive. I wouldn't be in this situation if, I wouldn't have even been taking it if I didn't think it was going to be positive, but I didn't want to admit that. I turned it over and it, there were two lines. It was a positive test. 
I remember just being like, oh no. Like that was all that really went through my head. I, I didn't know what to do. Hear the stories and experience the freedom on real life. This week on Our Jewish Roots, we look at the life of Joshua. From being Moses' apprentice to leading the nation of Israel as they came in to conquer the land of Canaan. With dramatic reenactments, Bible teaching from Dr. Jeffrey Seif, music, and much more. Watch for Joshua.